Hey guys, it's Arcade and I'm back with another tutorial. Today I got a really short tutorial for you and it's really simple. It's how to make a tech house sub bass in C room. So yeah, let's get started. Let's open up C room. And this is a really simple sound, but there are a few tricks you can use to make it better. So let's start by oscillator A, choose analog and sine wave and oscillator B, enable it and keep it on sub wave. Also, we're gonna enable the filter and make sure to only have it on oscillator B. So the filter is only going to affect oscillator B and then just lower the filter so we don't have those high frequencies and let me just add a node here so we can preview it so so far it sounds like a sub bass but we're gonna improve it so it's more interesting so one of the things we can do is uh, change the course pitch on oscillator a just go minus 32 just a little bit this will add some kind of movement to the bass and then go to effects and let's enable distortion and just put the drive about 87% and enable EQ as well and delete the high frequencies again. So just press this button, change the Q right like this and delete the high frequencies just by moving this. And so we got similar sounds, but it has a little bit of distortion in it, which makes it uh, more obvious in the mix, so it's more powerful. If you want to have it more sub bassy just uh, remove more of the high frequencies. And if you want to have those higher frequencies in the sound, you just add them back in like this. So I recommend just finding good balance that works with your mix. And now for the probably the most important step to make it like a tech house bass, uh, we're gonna automate the pitch. So let's go back and change the range of pitch to 12 and minus 12. And also change it in FL Studio, right here you have range and change it to 12 as well. And now let's put it in the playlist and hold control and select the first part, first four bars and right click on the pitch and create automation clip. And now what we want to do is uh, copy this first point, just right click on it and choose copy value. You want to do that so you have the 50% value copied. So whenever you need it next time, you can just paste it in there. And now let's zoom in and create a new point by right clicking and one more also by right clicking and just move this point right here and move this one back and paste the 50% value on this point that just means that the pitch won't change in this first part and then it will go up and down. So you want to have that 50% value because it's kind of hard when you just eyeball in it and you might change the pitch by accident. So just paste it in there. And now hold control, select it and press control B to duplicate it. And now the bass is pretty much done and it sounds like this. And if you want, you can uh, lower the cutoff a little bit or hear the frequency. Depending on your mix and stuff, you can adjust those parameters. And yeah, that's pretty much the bass. Now I'm going to show you how I use this bass in an example song. And yeah, here is the little example song. We have the bass here. And in this song, I also put sound goodies around the bass, just a little bit to compress it a little bit more and LFO tool to sidechain it. So every time the kick hits, the bass volume gets lowered. And this is how it sounds. And yeah, that's pretty much it. That's how you can use it. That's one example. As you can see, I automated the pitch the same way and it just uh, results in a nice bass in the background. Also, download link for this bass, the preset will be available on my site. It's for free, so go check that out. That wasn't your message. And other than that, thank you for watching this short tutorial and I hope you learned something new. Goodbye. <laughs>